General elections in Nigeria. What informs your report about these security threats? The aim of this report is to ring the alarm bells. It is a call to action. It is intended to highlight the threats uh, that are facing the 2023 Nigerian election and to call on policymakers to take action, to take uh, critical steps right now so that we might, uh, we might achieve successful, secure and peaceful elections uh, come 2023. And as you saw in the report, we highlighted four main threats to the elections. Number one is the threat of um, non-state armed groups, and there are three non-state armed groups uh, in Nigeria that we, uh, we believe can threaten the elections, but there are also uh, threats from political thuggery, uh, threat by, uh, I mean, post-election violence, as well as uh, the spread of disinformation, misinformation, and fake news or conspiracy theories online. So given the worrisome uh, picture or gr uh, the grim picture you just painted, Mr. Bukati, what should Nigerian authorities and international partners do right now to ensure that the upcoming vote is uh, secure and that it is one of integrity? Yeah, uh, we recommended 11 different steps. And if I were to go into the details of some of the findings, uh, for example, there are three main non-state actors in Nigeria. Boko Haram is a group claiming to be fighting for Islam that had been wreaking havoc in the northeastern part of Nigeria. And this group in particular had attempted twice to disrupt Nigeria's election. And in 2011, they nearly succeeded because they successfully forced the Nigerian government to delay our presidential elections by six weeks. And now this group has expanded to other parts of Nigeria, including the North Central, the Northwest, and some parts of Southern Nigeria. And we know from their ideology, one of which is to reject democracy and to try to destroy it, they are going to step up attacks in the weeks uh, leading up to the elections. Now, there is also a separatist group called uh, the Indigenous People of Biafra, uh, in short called IPOP, which has targeted the electoral bodies, facilities and offices 20 or 21 different times in the last 18 months or so. And they have destroyed critical election infrastructure and material, and they are currently continuing to right. attack uh, police uh, security agencies and the electoral body. So our first recommendation is for the Nigerian government and security forces to step up efforts to fight this group and groups and push them back and liberate rural areas where 